Good morning everybody, it's Lazy Eyed Beauty and I am coming to you with another video. This particular video is all about the Aries man. So, if you are currently seeing an Aries man or thinking about seeing an Aries man or just curious about what it's like to be with, a set, uh, with an Aries man, this video is for you. I'm going to start off with some of the good things about this sign and then I'm going to go into some of the negative things about this sign. So starting off... Aries man, he's very much so a hard worker. This is a man who keeps a job. Now don't confuse that with Sagittarius that always makes good money off of one job. This man just always has a job. And he will work two jobs if he has to in order to be able to live the lifestyle that he wants. This is a man who will go to his first job at 9 a.m., work until 5, stop and get something to eat, go home and maybe chill for about 45 minutes, and then go to his evening job, work throughout the night, get off, go home and sleep for four or five hours, take a shower, and go back to work at his 9 a.m. gig. And he will do this because he would rather work hard and work himself to the bone to be able to have what it is that he wants rather than having to depend on anybody else. He's not going to be living off of anybody, not his parents, not his mother, not his friends. He's not, he's not about that. He's, he doesn't want handouts. So he will work hard for what it is that he wants. So you don't ever have to worry about this man not being able to take you out or not being able to provide because this is a man, he'll work two, three jobs if he has to. And if he doesn't have a second job, then you best believe that he has his primary job and then he has a like a business on the side, a small business that he does. He may fix, may do maintenance at houses or he might cut hair on the side. He's going to do something on the side to have an extra stream of income because this is a man that likes to have one more than one avenue for income to be coming into the household so he is a very hard worker and very much so ambitious and if he's not happy on a job he will be looking for the next one while he's on that job until he can find one that pays more even if he's on a job he could be on a job for two years but he's constantly looking for something that's gonna be paying more money because he, he just he likes to be able to have more and more money, more and more money, more and more and more and more and more and more money. So that is a, a one thing about him. You don't have to sit there and, and tell him, hey, you need to get up off your butt and get a job because he has one. He actually has two. Now, <clears throat> another good thing about him is that he wants a woman who is just as ambitious, someone who was a get go a, um, a go getter like he is so he will encourage you you tell him that there's a position that's open at your job he's not the one that's going to tell you oh i don't think that you should be trying to jump ship and do something different because you've been on that same job for two years you don't want to you don't want to rock the boat no he'll tell you hey baby you meet the qualifications you've been doing this for two years and the position is open why wouldn't you apply what believe in yourself Go, go after what it is that you want. He's going to tell you this because a strong woman is not going to intimidate him because he's a strong man. So he will he will want that. He actually is going to be attracted to you having your own stuff going on. A lot of them usually tend to date older women too because they like the fact that older women have their life together. They, they have good careers. They usually have a home and just, just income. And they're more sophisticated and they know what they want. Now, the thing about it is, is that he is not a shy man. He is very flirtatious and he approaches who he wants. But this is the thing. He flirts with everyone. He flirts with everybody. So you'll never really know if he's interested in you or not because he just flirts with everybody. You won't know until he asks you out. That's when you'll know. And you don't want to ask him out because he's the one that likes to be the hunter he doesn't like to be hunted this is masculine energy here this is a masculine sign and this is a cardinal sign okay so he's the initiator he wants to be the one to approach you 
if you approach him, you're instantly putting yourself in the jump off category. You don't want that. So you kind of have to bait the Aries man. Now, when he goes out, he will he will do like all the little things that he's supposed to do. He's not the most chivalrous guy in the world, though. And he's not the most romantic guy in the world. So if you're looking for that, you need to go and get you a Sagittarius or um, a Capricorn or something like that. You need to go and get you a Scorpio or something like that. That's what you need to go and do. But if you're looking for somebody that's just going to be all romantic and stuff with you, the Aries man is not it. If you come to him and crying and all that different stuff, he's going to look at you and tell you to pull yourself together. And be very matter of fact. This is a man who's confident in himself and he knows himself. So you have to be confident too. You don't have to worry about him being all jealous and asking you where you at, why you at the club with your friends, why why you want like if you if he calls you and you say you're on the phone, you don't have to worry him being like worry about him saying, Oh, who you on the phone with? He's not insecure at all. He's very much so into himself. The thing about it is, is that he's not about to jump into a relationship with just anybody. You need to be his equal. You need to be his equal. He has to be able to respect you in a sense. You have to be respectable. And he will test you. When he first meets you and if he asks you out, just know that he's attracted to you. That's all. He thought he liked your legs. He liked your thighs, he liked your hips, he liked your breasts, he liked your smile, he liked something about you. He liked the way you smell. It was something about you that was attractive to him, but that's it. That's the state that you're at. What you do from this point on will determine how he categorizes you. It's either somebody he could potentially build with or somebody who he can have sex with from time to time. And he makes this decision very quickly. It is at the end of the night. He may try you and ask you, hey, we're getting to the negative side. You wanna come upstairs? You wanna come inside? Say no. And say no nicely. Let him know, no, not tonight. You know, I got I got some things I gotta do in the morning, but but thank you. And if he insists and say, you know, I really had a good time with you. I, I enjoyed you and I would love to come upstairs or I would love to come inside, but at the end of the day, or I would love to have you come inside, but at the end of the day, we did just meet. And I don't want to move too fast. And keep it there. Because if you let that man come inside and you let him have sex, sex with you on the first night, that's all you're ever gonna be. You have to tell him no, so that way he can develop those feelings and see you in that way. Now, if he's not that interested, eventually he's just gonna fall off anyways. But if he's interested in you, he'll take this as a challenge and he will rise to the challenge. Then you'll begin to see the other sides of him. Now, this is the thing about this man. When he's young, I don't know what it is about Aries men, but I swear it's like they don't believe in condoms. They go and they have sex and get girls pregnant. He may have one baby mama, he may have two. But believe you me, he is a daddy. Mm hmm He's somebody's pappy because it's like they don't believe in, it's like they don't like wrapping it up. They sleep with these girls that they don't have any real, and the thing about it is they'll sleep with a friend or somebody some neighborhood girl that they knew growing up and they was just relaxed with her and then they get her knocked up <laughs> I don't know what it is about them I really don't but this man overall if you get him you will realize that he's a he, he is a good provider and he is a good husband to the woman that he marries but it might be a while <laughs> He's very fertile, that's all I'm gonna say. Very, very fertile, he's a fertile man. They walk in their testosterone 100%. There's nothing feminine about this man. 
even the well-groomed ones there's just nothing feminine about an Aries man this is a this is an all the way man okay and they want a very feminine woman but the thing about it is they want a feminine woman with a little bit of masculine energy they want somebody that's gonna tell him you know the truth that's gonna be honest with him that she looks feminine but she's just as assertive as, as he is she looks feminine but she's just as intelligent as he is she looks feminine but she speaks her mind as much as he does and that's how he likes it so all in all this is not a bad sign and I don't really think any of the signs are a bad sign because you have to think about it we have so many th different things going on um, with you know your moon sign and your Venus sign and your Mars and, Mer and Mercury that you can't just base everything off of your sun sign anyway but that is my feedback and my um, little video about the Aries man if you like this video please comment like and subscribe because when you like this video it helps to bring more people to this channel and um, I will be uploading some more videos sometime this week and I hope that you all have a wonderful day Please don't forget that Monday is MLK Day, and I hope that you all have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Love you, and thank you so much for watching.